I have known Marie for 20 years, exactly this year. I had just moved from my childhood home of 12 years and got thrown into the wolf's den of a whole new middle school. And Marie was one of the first ones to talk to me. And she was so bubbly. And she asked a million and one questions about myself. <laughs> and I think I learned more about her life in the first week than the rest of the years to come. <laughs> We were there for each other during our senior year when we needed a friend the most. She was there without judgment. That year solidified the actual definition of what a friend should be. Genuine, dependable, and honest. The Jeff that everyone knows today is not the Jeff I knew back then. Let's just say uh, his style has improved a little bit since then. Thank you, Marie. Even though things have changed since then and we don't get together as often as we used to, you know, I still feel that whenever I need something, I could always go to Jeff for help. And for that, I'm grateful to have him as my friend. Thanks, bro. The best way to enjoy good food is with good company. So the first few times we hung out and ate together, they were shy with each other. After a few more times, Becky and I were out of the picture. So I think it's safe to say they found good company in each other. They were just hanging out in groups, but every time she talked about him, she was always happy and giggly. I finally got to meet Jeff just a few months later, and I remember thinking, okay, he seems nice. It was actually around this time in 2016 that I knew without a doubt that Jeff was perfect for Marie. Oh my God, <laughs> you're so pretty. Some people ask themselves, why get married? As times have changed, so have ideas about the concept of marriage. Marriage is not a piece of paper signed at City Hall or a glamorous ceremony. Marriage is an eternal promise. It is a commitment made between two people to forever be loving, intimate, selfless, regardless of the turbulence life throws at them. Marriage is love shown through action, not spoken words. For we all know that words without action means nothing. Marie, when you cussed me out over a game of Uno, little did I know that it would lead us to where we are today. In the process, I realized that both of us are total weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think of the Robert Fogum quote, life is a little weird, and when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall into mutually satisfying weirdness and call it love. I firmly believe that that is what we have, the same weirdness that ties us together to my best friend, my pal, my homegirl, <laughs> and the moon of my life. I will love you always. I know you are my future. The moment we agreed, that crispy, flavorful skin and a juicy center make the perfect fried chicken. From there, we continued to click, being bonded over so many things in such a short amount of time. Since I can't see well, you don't ever hesitate to grab my arm when I'm about to bump into something. 
or give me detailed directions to avoid hazards. Not only do you have to watch out for yourself, but you have been my eyes as well. You describe things to me when they're too far away. Read things. Then when text is too small. And find things for me when the world is very blurry and hard to navigate. When times are rough, always remember that you're my best friend, my pal, <laughs> my homeboy, <laughs> my rotten soldier, my sweet cheese, and my good time boy. Jeffrey Kempian, I am yours, and you are mine from this day until the end of my days. Before all the witnesses here today, you have pledged your love in marriage. I now declare you married. There's only one last thing to do. You may now kiss. <laughs> With the most honor and privilege, I would now like to introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey and Marie Liang. to know that my support for her and Jeff will be 100%.